Dear colleagues, in this video, I am going to demonstrate my lens tilt technique for soft cataracts. See, in soft cataracts, it is not safe to do a trench because the nuclear mass is so soft that while you make a trench at that time itself, as you go deep, you can pierce the posterior capsule with your phaco tip. Yes, it has happened in my hands. So, in soft cataracts, what I do is, I do hydrodissection. I do a of adequate size, means a little larger, say about 5.75 to 6 millimeter. And when I do hydrodissection, the nucleus, one equator of the nucleus, prolapses out of the capsular bag. See, here it is. The rexis has been done. Now, as I am going to do hydrodissection, the equator on the left side will prolapse out of the nucleus. And then I just tap on the opposite equator and it will prolapse further. See, here it is. Hydrodissection. The equator on the left side has prolapsed out of the capsular bag. Tap on the right side, it prolapses further. Now, what to do? Now, I will inject some viscoelastic substance on either side of the nucleus, prolapsed nucleus. This is on the left side, this is on the right side. Now, I will introduce a chopper through the side port and support the posterior surface of the cataractus lens. Posterior surface of the nucleus and I will approach through the other side from the anterior side and the bevel of the phaco tip will face the nuclear mass. Here it is. The bevel faces the nuclear mass. I hold this nucleus and see what I am doing. I am piercing through the nuclear mass just a distance some few millimeters away from the equator. Say about four 3-4 millimeter away from the equator and a portion of the nucleus has been emulsified and taken out. Now I work on the rest of the nucleus. The equator that is towards the posterior capsule is actually protecting the posterior capsule. It's a very safe procedure and if you do this you will never cause any piscident in soft cataracts. So it is much much safer than much more safer than divide and concur technique in soft cataracts. Please don't try to trench in soft cataracts. While trenching itself, as you go deep, you can pierce through the posterior capsule by the phaco tip and you can cause a piscident just in front of the center of the posterior capsule because the posterior capsule at the center is at a deeper level but as you go forward uh, unless you come forward you will just pierce through the posterior capsule at this moment i am polishing the posterior capsule now see a very good technique to polish with fluid jet this is the irrigating proof and just use the irrigating fluid to dislodge the cells from the posterior capsule and it will be polished in a very short time and it will be polished very nicely. Now I am going to inject a multi-piece intraocular lens. Now see one thing. As I inject the intraocular lens, the leading haptic goes into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic remains outside. Now I hold this trailing haptic with the Macpherson's forceps and push it in the capsular bag. Now see this white material sticking to the posterior, sticking to the optic of the intraocular lens at 2 o'clock. This, this material comes from the lumen of the cartridge. Let's just flush it with Simco and it comes out. I am irrigating out the viscoelastic substance. Now, I irrigate out the viscoelastic substance with this instrument. This is the 
irrigating proof now I use both irrigation and aspiration together and remove all the viscoelastic substance I believe in thorough removal of viscoelastic substance now I hide these side ports so that these side ports become waterproof that's it so I hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills just form the antechamber like this and conclude the case thank you very much for your attention